beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It is your girl, Jalissa, and I am coming to you here today with a new pick a card reading. All right, so today's topic is a general message. What is it that you need to hear today? Okay, so this is from the universe, the cosmos to you. All right, from the universe to you. <laughs> we have three piles to select from today. Pile one, you got the frog. Pile two, you got the snake. Pile three, you have the starfish. All right, so I want you guys to use your intuition when choosing your pile. Take your time. This is pre recorded. You could pause the video, take a deep breath, close your eyes, clear your mind, open up your eyes, see which card is calling your name. You could be called to more than one card, of course. There could be more than one reading here for you today. Just follow your intuition, babe. And if by any chance you're having difficulties, you could also go to your search engine and put in random number generator, one through three, and beep, it will release a number just for you. And that will be your pal number. Bless. All right, so while you're meditating over the cards, I am definitely giving a PSA. Welcome back, my beautiful souls. For those who are returning, thank you so much for being here with me today. It is a pleasure to spend some time with you here today, Yarsh. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're blessed. And for those who are new, welcome to the family. So happy to have you. What a pleasure to have um, new energy, a new face, a new family member at the table. Enjoy yourself here today. Um, guys, always remember that these are general readings, so do take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want a personal reading, that option is listed in my description just for you, as well as my website. This is my newest candle, the rebrand of the unicorn candle. It has all my intentions in one. So I have a candle shop, if you weren't aware, and I make many candles with different intentions. They're all supercharged. I do Reiki over my candles, and I also incorporate holy oil, essential oils, spiritual oils. So, and then I, you know, fazazz it, of course, because why shouldn't we make the candle look amazing? <laughs> all right, so I put some creativity into it. So this is the newest, latest unicorn candle, and it's available to you on my shop right now. I do have a 25% off everything. So guys, check out my shop if you need any goodies for protection, for healing, and or for attracting, manifesting. I got you. I also have sage, palo santo. I have jewelry. I have baths. I have soaps that I make myself as well. Everything's made by me, packed by me. So enjoy. I will be really, really, really um, happy to make an order for you. Bless. <laughs> and do check out my reviews. I have over 5,000 five-star reviews. Thank you to everyone who has left me a review, who has supported me in any way, shape, or form. I really, really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, honey. Bless. All right, so there's that. There's who. Um, guys, just so you know, on Thursday, I will be going live to do personal readings. It's the only day I'm going live. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Pinky just got in the building. <laughs> That's what you heard. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be going live Thursday evening to do personal readings. It's the only day I'm going live this week because this week is pretty busy for me. Um, so guys, be patient with me. I will still connect. I'm doing more recorded readings this week than live ones. But I'll be back with the lives next week, okay? So we're going to balance that out. So that way I'm not devoting my energy solely to one type of stream you know anywho so let's get it let's go pal one pal two pal three all right pal one pal two pal three i'm ready so let's get ready let's get into it if you need more time pause the video take your time when you are ready by the way i'm sorry i didn't mention this earlier there are timestamps in the description that you can click to go right ahead to your reading honey mm-hmm Easy peasy, and I will find you there. Let's get it. Let's go. Bless. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. If you chose the frog for your reading here today, then you are at your reading. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's tap in. bless first of all let me give you your angel number and then we're gonna get into this all right 
This is my protection mist. And I use this every time I'm doing a reading to protect myself and protect us. So that way there's no interferences and we could get a clear message. That mist along with other products are available in my description down below. Bless. All right. So let me give you your angel number first of all. And then we're going to get into your message. <sighs> Holy Spirit, what's the angel number for part one? Thank you. Hmm. 126 all right 126 is your angel number 126 january 26 could be significant for somebody okay so that is giving nine all right so nine i'm getting a battle all right so this could be a spiritual battle this could be a personal battle this could be a battle with others it's going to be different for all of you of course but i'm getting turbulence there could be a little bit of anxiety i'm getting anxious all right, a little bit of um, worry. I'm getting worry at this time. So something could have your mind right now. I'm getting you kind of reserved. I'm getting you creating healthy boundaries. Like you kind of weary about who you can trust right now or what you can trust right now is what it's giving me. All right, so let's hop into your frog energy again. So that's what I'm getting. All right, so the frog is giving me feeling froggy, then leap. <laughs> it is, it's giving that. That's usually a term I hear all the time. Anyway, frog, and I'm going to the book. So some people ask, what deck is this? This is the animal spirit oracle deck. And I'm going to read what this card means. All right. So this card speaks about clearing, cleansing, and healing. Okay. It's connecting with that nine. And this page is 107, which is eight. So it's giving me as above, so below. And 106, which is seven. So I'm getting right now is about rest and rejuvenation. I'm getting change, something positive coming in for you. And trust and believe that whatever anyone does to you, they will reap what they sow, point blank, period. Okay. So let's see. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within this healing element, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting the marine kingdom could be significant, Yamaya, Poseidon, Oshun, okay, and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, it needs for its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care this card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse forgive and release time to dive in frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load all right so i'm getting Right now, you could be feeling depleted. You could be feeling like you're running on empty, like, damn, I need some energy. Or like, I feel like kind of fatigued, tired, like, oh, depleted. All right. I'm getting you clearing your energy at this time. And I see you very enthusiastic about life and what new beginnings lie ahead for you. So I'm getting you have to regularly go to water. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're connected to water. So you're... A hustler is what I'm getting, Paul One. Okay. But I'm getting, it's okay to hustle. It's okay to bustle. It's okay to, you know, get things done, you know, help people, help self, do what you got to do. But you always need to run back to water to nourish. So this could be spiritual baths. This could be the lake. This could be the river. This could be the ocean. All right. So I'm getting, you're being guided, reminded to go back to water so you could cleanse, forgive, and release. All right. So I'm getting you in this healing phase right now, pound one. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me see. Is that cool? No, it's going to fall. Hold up. Let me put my book here where it doesn't fall on us. Okay. Blessed. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. So that's your first message. All right. Feeling froggy, then leap. Okay. <laughs> Um, you may be telling somebody this, or you may have told somebody that, like, oh, you feeling froggy? Leap. I'm getting a new beginning, though, for you. All right, let me get this going. We have Needed Me by Rihanna. So some of you guys could be, like, Rihanna fans, maybe just heard this song, Needed Me by Rihanna. All right. Mustard on the beat. All right, maybe somebody likes mustard. 
I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the low for a faded F and on some faded love. Shit, what the F you complaining for? Feeling jaded, huh? Used to trip off that ish. I was kicking to you. Had some fun on the run, though. I give it to you. All right, so I'm getting somebody running. All right, I'm getting somebody playing with your energy. F your white horse and your carriage. All right, so I'm getting like a make-believe fairy tale. It's giving like with the white horse and the carriage. It's giving Cinderella. All right, so it's giving like um a bootleg version of Cinderella. All right, so this could be connecting to love or romance. Cinderella, it's giving um you fit the bill or somebody was trying to fit some sort of bill, but somebody was faking it so they made it or something like that. Take it how it resonates. Let me see. Is this casting a shadow? Not sure. All right, but I hope not. Okay, anyway. All right. Yeah, I'm getting a shadow. All right, so I'm getting somebody doing a lot of shadow work or needs to do a lot of shadow work. All right, Holy Spirit, what's the vibe? What's the energy? What's the message for part one here with me? That kind of rhymed um how you feel how you feel used to trip off that shit i was kicking to you have some fun on the run though i give it to you all right so i'm getting something was fun but i'm getting somebody tripping all right we have a handshake here you're meeting someone new i'm getting a stranger an important meeting with a stranger Let's see what that's about we have a throne here is giving a position of authority is giving work all right so i'm getting you're meeting someone new I'm getting, this is going to help you obtain or receive a position of authority. I'm getting hard work ahead, though. Like, this position that you're acquiring here is going to have a lot of responsibilities, but I'm getting it's a good position because I see a throne. We have a dark woman here, so you could be a woman of dark complexion or hair. And or you're dealing with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Because I'm seeing you meeting someone new here. Hmm, could be at work or in regards to work. But I'm getting something being really good. All right, let's see. Love. All right, yeah, I'm getting love. All right, so you have new a new lover here. Feeling froggy? Then leap. <laughs> But this is a good situation. We have the goldfish. Yeah, this is good. All right. So I don't know. Maybe some of y'all got a goldfish or something. That could be significant. Or you like fish. Pisces. Pisces. That's what it's giving too. All right. I'm getting an increase in your material wealth, Pa One. And I'm getting spiritual growth, which is connecting to the frog. So the frog, you know, it's talking about healing, releasing, cleansing. Well, releasing, cleansing, and healing, right? So I'm getting you doing this right now, Pound One. Um, somebody could be Colombian. Quieren ser como yo, caro G, pero el flow no está la venta. I channeled that yesterday. I forgot what pile. All right, so that's caro G basically saying they want to be like me, but my flow is not for sale. So somebody could be pretending to be like you. Yeah, fake Cinderella. I'm getting a fake Cinderella out here, <laughs> regardless of sex. All right, so somebody wanted to fit some sort of bill. And I'm getting they don't fit the bill, but they acted like they fit the bill. All right, so that's like past energy is what I'm getting. Somebody wants to be like you. Somebody may have acted like you to like get an opportunity with someone else. All right. Well, there's that. I'm getting here, though. For you, Pa One, you're leaping into a new experience. You're going to feel froggy. you going to leap, all right? And I'm getting this with a stranger. It's someone new. I'm getting this is important, though, because I'm getting there's going to be uh, this person's going to hold a really important position in your life. I'm getting it's going to be a little hard work, okay? Or this is going to be a little hard, but I'm getting it's worth the effort. It's worth the squeeze. Mm -hmm. The juice is worth the squeeze is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing an increase, though, with your work going on here, too, though. I'm getting um, this could be a promotion, a raise or an opportunity for you to make more money. It ain't going to be easy, though, but I see it benefiting you. OK, I'm getting spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. I'm getting fertility, too. OK, so be careful if you're not looking for um, little frog babies. 
<laughs> Be careful. I'm seeing you handshaking somebody over here. Like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, this could be a person who holds a very strong position in life. All right. They could have um, a good job, a good position. I'm sorry. There's a new deck, so I got to break it in. All right. We're using it here with you first exclusively. <laughs> All right. So let's see. But either you or this person is a dark woman with either... A, either you or this person is a person of dark complexion or dark hair all right so let's take it how it resonates all right what else does pop one need to hear here today thank you i'm getting you're not for sale your style is not for sale whoever was buying that ish they bought a bootleg <laughs> confirmation i'm getting somebody was trying to sell themselves to be you someone may have bought a bootleg okay they rip they don't last okay they may look like the real deal but after a little while they start they start to break apart because they're not real all right so i'm getting somebody side note may have fell for someone else or somebody because they thought or this could be you with the past person maybe you fell for somebody um, because they were wearing a mask. They were pretending to be somebody they weren't. Take it how it resonates, but I'm getting something's falling apart. But I'm seeing you over here good, though. I'm getting new love. New love. All right. Tell me more for part one. <laughs> Tell me more for part one. Thank you. I'm talking about that new love. Okay, I don't even know that's a song. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Knights of Cups. I'm getting the next couple of days to weeks. There's a proposal, an offer. We have the Fool for a new beginning. Uh -huh. All brand new energy. Somebody can have a little white doggy. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. For some of y'all, y'all could be same sex. That's for somebody, not everybody. Then we have the Five of Swords with the Ten of Cups. At the back of the deck. Hmm. We need to clarify. I actually really like this deck right here because it's like old school. Look how old school it looks. I like that. All right. So I'm getting an old school vibe. You're going to like something. Okay. We're going to clarify this though because I need more answers. So I do see a proposal. I do see an offer for a new beginning coming. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a lie though with the five of swords. Like. I'm getting someone in some sort of turbulence. I see somebody running. Let's see. Clarify this queen of pentacles over here. A lot of mangoes. Or are those pears? Pears or mangoes? I don't know. They look like pears. They look like mangoes. A lot of fruit. There's a rabbit on the queen of pentacles lap. So, and then we have the page of pentacles. All right. So you're going to be really busy. I'm getting new work, new work opportunity, regardless of sex. Okay. Somebody could have a son. Ooh, my eye. Confirmation. All right, clarify the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Swords. What? What? I'm getting somebody pasting. Okay. The Lovers, yeah. Clarify the Fool for me. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting a new beginning with work. Okay. Yeah. There's a new beginning here with work. Whoa, that flew death. Yeah. I'm getting somebody's being deaded oh change hmm i'm getting change here lots of it all right clarify the five of swords the three of pentacles yes yeah, a third party situation is what i'm getting oh this could be a third party situation at work doesn't have to be but that's for somebody not everybody okay we have a blank card. It's just blank. Oh, I guess they provide a blank card at the back of this deck. Like, fill it in for yourself. Down ass bitch. All right, Ja Rule. I'm getting somebody's down. Okay, so I'm getting lies. Like, there's some sort of lie about a third party. Okay. Hmm. Clarify this five of swords with the three of pentacles. Yeah, seven of swords. I'm getting somebody speaking. 
Strength. Milky Moon? Oh, the Milky Way. Huh. Ah, number 2027 could be significant. I'm getting somebody getting exposed out here. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, somebody, I see somebody communicating out here with you. Somebody's gonna have the strength to communicate with you. This could be via the internet. Somebody could be famous. I'm getting somebody has a spotlight. You need to be very discreet, sweetheart, when it comes to your opportunities. Because I'm getting, you are meeting someone new. This here, the new beginning is definitely here. I see it clearly. I am going to clarify even further just because I like this deck. I don't know something about this deck that's like really pulling me. I love it. I love the art. It's maybe my new favorite deck. All right, blank. All right, clarify the Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Shoo! Somebody got the bag out here. Okay, clarify the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. Somebody got three kids? Or two? No, I'm getting three kids. All right, so three kids could be significant. Okay, that's for somebody. All right, clarify the fool with the eight of pentacles. The nine of wands. The nine, yeah. I see you protecting your business. Yup, ten of pentacles. It's giving a new opportunity with work. It's giving abundance. All right, I'm getting new money. All right, clarify the queen of cups with death. The hangman. All right, somebody has to somebody has to sacrifice somebody. Clarify the five of swords with the three of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. Something that's been going on for a while. The magician. Hmm. I'm getting somebody lying about work for a while. Somebody's been orchestrating some sort of lies yeah it's giving lies i'm getting strong lies about uh, uh, listen take it how it resonates i see you working very very hard i see you having a new beginning you need to protect your new beginning a point blank period you you have the nine of wands here this is you building kind of like an arc to protect yourself so the arc was made to protect species two of each female and male right now that's deep. Why am I getting that? All right, so I'm getting something really emotional. You're the frog. You have to go back to water. So I'm getting, you need to go back to water. Something, you need to recharge. You need to release, recharge, heal. Something emotional is coming in. You need to reserve yourself. I'm getting it has to do with work. All right, you have a new beginning with work and you need to protect yourself with that. I'm getting that there is a woman out here, regardless of sex, female or male. I'm seeing, take it how it resonates, flip the roles if you need to. I'm seeing two feminines out here. So it doesn't have to be females, but they're feminine. So if it's a man, this is a very emotional feminine man. If it's a woman, it's a woman, you know? But I'm getting two. I'm getting a pentacle and I'm getting a cub. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One of these feminines is getting... The, is getting to the bag out here. I'm getting a legacy being made. Okay. I'm getting another feminine out here. I'm getting somebody like, this could be you or this could be this feminine, but I'm getting somebody being sacrificed. I'm getting some, I'm getting, you could be contemplating whether or not you're going to sacrifice this feminine over here. Comes off very loving, very sweet, but I'm getting an ending that's inevitable. All right. So I'm getting... One thing is closing, another thing is opening. All right, so this does not have to be love related, but I'm getting somebody lying to you at work for a long time or lying to you about work for a long time or lying to you about some sort of collaboration. I'm getting this person communicating with you and there's strong lies here. I'm getting somebody here is in the spotlight and they getting to the bag. All right, so I'm getting pound one, being that this is your message and you're being told to release, rejuvenate and heal. You have somebody you need to release and you may be thinking about it. Like, I don't know, should I let that person go? Should I let that person in? Should I let that person be? We have rel relación. Ahora todo cambió. Le toca a ella. 
Oh, I'm getting, ooh, ahora todo cambió, le toca a ella. I'm getting a change. Like, you could be changing peoples in your life. All right, you could be literally escorting someone out and welcoming someone in. And it's a big change. It's big. All right, um, I'm getting, um, ahora todo cambió, le toca a ella. I'm getting everything changed. Now it's her turn. Um, or now it's his turn. All right, everything has changed. So it's somebody else's go. I'm getting a lot going on over here with these nights, though. Mm-hmm. I'm getting something's destined to come your way. Romantic new beginning, I'm seeing that. And then I'm seeing very quickly an opportunity with finances and money. I'm getting something coming back to you. What's old to you is coming back is what I'm getting. So maybe something um, dwindled or maybe something like when maybe something was stalemate, all right, for a while with work, with endeavors. There's something here you're destined to have. It's giving past lives. So this was, I'm getting your ancestors saying it's their inheritance, all right? So you're meant to spiritually inherit an opportunity in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting it's coming in pretty quickly with that night. All right, so that's coming in now. I'm getting that. I'm getting that you need to protect this new beginning. Like it's nobody's business. Meaning you need to be secretive. You need to be selective. You need to be real quiet about this opportunity, this position of authority. Um, also, when it comes to this new romance, I'm getting you need to also be discreet. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there's a change here. Though, overall, with the romantic messages, I'm getting one person has to go in order for that position to be filled. If the position is occupied, obviously, there's going to be difficulties pushing someone out. I'm getting, um, be careful when it comes to work, because for a long time, I don't know, somebody's been lying to you about money, or somebody's been lying to you about what they do for work, or I don't know what this is, but somebody's been telling you heavy-ass lies when it comes to what they're doing for work. Mm-hmm, confirmation, or what they're doing at work. I'm getting a storm brewing with that. The magician's here, so you manifested this oppor these opportunities because there's multiple opportunities coming here, Pa One. You have a new person you're meeting, and there's going to be opportunity with love. I'm getting um, now energy. So this could be now or in the near future. All right, I'm getting also very quickly, I'm getting now. This one's really now, the, the financial opportunity, a new job, a new position, a raise, new monies, new opportunities, all right, is giving. I'm getting something's coming back, something's due to come back to you. And hmm, let me see. Clarify this Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. Six of Wands, you need to be real. We have the King of Pentacles now. I'm getting a couple out here. All right, regardless of, of like, you know, signs, you need to look in your natal chart. We have 12 houses, all right? So you have many signs in your natal chart. I don't know, but you could have Earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm getting a lot of that. I'm also getting water, though. There's a little bit of everything. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio coming out strong as well. All right, um... I'm getting, you need to be secretive about some sort of victory. Something's been taking its time to come your way. I'm getting a victory coming your way. You're on your high horse, but you need to protect your high horse. Didn't we say, like Rihanna said, um, something about the white horse? This white horse is covered by some sort of green sheet. All right, so you need to like cover yourself, protect yourself, shield yourself, be very discreet when it comes to what you're doing at work. I'm getting, you've been thriving to get something for a while or you've been working your butt off for a while but you've been taking it slow and steady i'm getting things about to pick up tremendously and i'm getting a union here because we have the queen the king of pentacles i'm getting a son somebody could have a son and i'm getting a family being built here a legacy being built built here between two souls and i'm getting it's new because it's a stranger but i'm seeing turbulence over here like I'm getting deaf and a hangman. Like, someone needs to be sacrificed. I don't know. That's the message, guys. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get some advice. Because um, I don't know how deeper I could get into that. <laughs> like, I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. And I'm being told to say what I'm meant to say. We have On Chill by Wale. Who you loving? Who you want to pull up with? Who don't care you dating long as you care you trust him? 
trying to hear all your problems so I can lighten the load. No, you're not fighting alone because I'm protecting you from them. So chill. Life's hard and ex-lovers is like scars. Yeah, I'm getting an ex being significant. All right. Um, But I see expansion here for you, Pawan. One. I'm getting one of you two is famous or is in the spotlight, has some sort of publicity, it could be on social media, but I'm getting a lot of exposure here. Leo is coming through. Let's see what your guidance is. And then we're going to go into your charms. Bless. Ooh. Okay. They watch. Okay. They switch up on you. I'm going to stay the same. So I'm getting somebody like committing, like somebody telling you, like, listen, they switched up on you or they changed up on you. I would never do that. Like, I'm going to always stay the same. I'm good where we got it without no expectations. So I'm getting someone doesn't even have expectations. Like, listen, let's just go with the flow. It is what it is. All right. I'm hearing destiny. All right. I'm getting somebody really confident out here, too. I'm getting we don't share our whereabouts or the gossip or gossip the hood love. All right. Just supreme confidence. If we good, that's good enough. All right. So it's something about privacy. All right. So this relationship may be very private because of statuses or because I'm getting someone here. One of you two is very selective about who knows what about their life, you know. So anyway, what's the advice for Pawan? one? Beautiful read. We have passion thorn. 33 low vibrations. Somebody could be 33 years old. All right, let's see what this is all about. We have passion, thorn, low vibrations, and then we have solitary witch. Heal yourself first. I'm getting you need to heal yourself, honey bunny. And the frog is talking about released, purging, you know, healing, and then leaping. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Where's my book? Oh, here it is. <sighs> all right. 33 and 2. That could be significant. February. The number 33. Somebody could be 33. Somebody could have the life path number 2. All right. So let's look at number 2 because obviously that's first. And then we'll go in to 33. The solitary witch. All right. So you could be an alchemist or you could be connecting with one. But it's giving that you need to heal yourself first. It begins with you. Believe in yourself. Okay. In the tarot deck, this would be the temperance card. All right. So it's giving earth angel. It's giving angels. It's giving be patient. Temperance is all about being patient, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Gradually healing, gradually gaining balance in your life. The solitary witch is not worried about what others are doing. She prefers to practice alone in the sacred space of her choosing rather than rely on a coven to support her. So I'm getting your alone with. She may meet with others occasionally, but ultimately she knows her path is her own to walk in her own time. Many will call upon her for her gifts. All right. So you could be a reader, a healer, or you could be connected with one, which she is happy to share. But first and foremost is her own healing, for she knows she is of little use to anyone else without her first supporting herself. Pulling solitary witch is a, is a sign that you have overlooked yourself, all right? So you could have like um, this bad habit, Paul one, of like overlooking yourself or taking care of others and forgetting about self. So I'm getting right now, it's all about you, Okay. You may need to spend more time in solitude, treat yourself to a rare experience, or spend more time developing your gifts before sharing them with others. Pulling this card can also signify that your healing work starts within, all right? So it always starts within. Somebody can have a lot of tattoos. She has tattoos, like, everywhere. All right, um... You may need to work on healing your ancestral lines or you're being called to develop a better relationship with your spiritual guides. If your question involves others, receiving this card guides you to focus on how you can be a better person in your relationship. It's unlikely you'll change the other person's mind, but you can change how you manage your response to their behavior. It may be time to walk away. Yeah, I'm getting somebody being deaded. I'm getting somebody walking away from someone because there's a new opportunity. Um, as far as the elements go, it says you are being called to rely more on yourself. You are the only tool you need at this time. Midnight moth. You have the qualities that you are what you have the qualities that you are 
jealous of in others. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pa one, are you like looking at others, comparing yourself to others or contrasting? Like, listen, what you find, um, what you find amazing or unique or special in others, you, that's within you already. All right, so look in the mirror. Turn inwards and focus on finding and developing those qualities within yourself. All right, so there's no need to be jealous of no one else because you actually got it going on here, honey. And you got four candles, which is giving stability. Mm -hmm. You have the cauldron, you have Harry Potter's wand, and you also have the snake with the psychic bowl and a book. So it's giving alchemists crystals as well and the moon. So the phases of the moons, herbs, yeah, it's all giving. All right, innovations, speak to yourself as you would a lover. Worship yourself as a sacred and develop more self-love. All right, so that's your message. Let's see with 33. Getting said como yo, caro G. All right, somebody really want to be like you. All right, because I'm still hearing that. Después de la playa. I'm getting after the beach. So the beach could be significant. All right, we have poison thorn. Um, the key words here is low vibrations, unhealed trauma, self-sabotage, dwelling on the past. This card in tarot would be the Eight of Swords. By the way, this is the deck. If anybody's looking for it, it's an oracle deck. All right, so it says here, when a finger is pricked by a poison thorn, the first thing you do is to pull the thorn out, removing the source of the discomfort. The wound can't begin to heal if the thorn stays in place and may even become infected which can spread to other areas. Emotional trauma are a lot alike thorns that may have been left inside to fester. They continue to hurt, then spread. And before you know it, your entire being is suffering. Hol hollowed one, it is time to let go of the hurt, trauma, and baggage you've been carrying. At this point, holding on to the past is causing more pain than the original event leading to stagnation, self-sabotage, and self-destruction. You may even see your hurt affecting positive areas of your life. A bad breakup may result in lack of focus at work or a sudden loss of a job could put strain on an otherwise healthy relationship. You can't change the hurt that has occurred, but you can do your best to begin to pick up the pieces. Self-help author Bob Prodator says, if you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hands. Therefore, if you choose to focus on the pain, that is what you will continue to find. But if you release the cause of the hurt and learn to find the light in the darkness, you give yourself not only the chance to heal, but to learn the truth of how strong and rare you are. Um, companion cards with this one, Forgotten ghost, reconnecting with the past will lead to heartache. All right, listen, I'm getting somebody got to go. All right, um, the flames. Old wounds are leading you towards devastation. Seek immediate help if you feel as though you are not able to handle your emotions on your own. Witch of the Woods and Solitary Witch. All right, so this is like in combination. We don't have that combination. We have the Solitary Witch. Oh, which of the woods and solitary? Yeah, we got that one. Your environment or people in your immediate circle may remind you of a hurtful time, causing you to relive old wounds. Consider removing yourself from these situations. If that is not possible, find time daily for solo inner reflection and spiritual healing. Uh, yeah, honey. All right. So if there's anybody that you're still connecting with, connecting to someone you're either separating from or separated with, you need to cut those cords for a little while. Because I'm getting it's unhealthy and it's actually going to strain your healing. All right. So that was your advice. Let's go to your charms. Whoa. <laughs> all right. What are the charms for Pal One? Nah. Let me get my little basket over here because I want to dig deeper. Here we we. I'm hearing wee 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 like a cop car. All right, so I don't know, maybe um, cop cars are significant. 
we 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 all right maybe there could have been some sort of um situation involving cops all right or that could arise and that's why you're being guided away all right let's get your initials we have the queen of cups again we have the page of swords and the five of wands in reverse so i'm getting like regardless of sex there's someone out here watching you this could be a mother figure like this could this person could be a mom or not take it how it resonates but i'm seeing um someone out here watching you wanting to calm the waters with you like wanting like this person's spying watching lurking and they want to calm the waters with you is what i'm getting and you're being guided you, you already heard everything all right so let's go first middle last initial this could be yours or theirs we have a b l a o q q c u e w p we have o i dc somebody could be from dc i have ip something about an ip address a computer ip again ip ip somebody could be following or tracking somebody's ip not to scare nobody but i'm getting computer or phone is significant we have bd baby daddy we have cd somebody could do music or be a musician we have hg q b z k okay Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming out here strong. Oh, this is so cute. It's a new charm. It is um uh like a rainbow whale. It's so cute. Excuse my nails. I'm getting them done soon. All right. Um, ooh, a rainbow whale. All right. So it's giving something magical because the whale in my charms does signify someone that loves you. So I'm getting something magical with the rainbow and it's glittery and it's so pretty. My niece gave this to me. It's so cute. All right, so it's giving something magical coming in. Bless. All right, we do have the egg here with the rainbow unicorn. All right, so I'm getting a spirit baby. Hmm. Careful. Careful out here in these streets. <laughs> All right, we have here... Ooh, Thor. All right, six, seven, seven. The number seven could be significant. July, all right? Or somebody could have the life path number seven. We have Falling by Alicia Keys. I keep on falling in and out of love. All right, so I'm getting hot and cold. We have Thor. All right, so somebody could look like Thor. Um, Thor is kind of a god. Yeah, it's a god. And Thor creates thunder with his hammer. I'm getting somebody really strong. And then we have Catwoman. All right, so I'm getting Thor and Catwoman. That would be a cool mix. All right, so Catwoman... She's really sexy, all right? She's very flexible. She's a night owl, so she comes out at night because cats are nocturnal. So somebody could be up late nights. I'm getting um two odd superheroes coming together here. Okay, we have ranch, all right? Somebody could be putting ranch in their salad, all right? You're being guided to eat more salads. Oh, we have 500 and seven so may 7th is significant okay we have gum here choo choo somebody could chew a lot of gum yeah we have um the cat in the hat the book dr seuss children could be a factor um we also have the book here which book is this the fox and the star all right so the fox and the star all right, so I'm getting somebody may have some sort of clout with the star or somebody could be a healer. And I'm getting a fox and a star come together. We have Hinch, the book Hinch. All right. I don't know if you could see that. All right, we have a lot of books here. Somebody loves to read. Somebody's into books. Happy Zoo. All right, the zoo could be significant. Maybe y'all went to the zoo together. I'm getting children. All right, we have love and peace coming your way. We also have a money bag coming your way. We have euros here. So um, Europe could be significant. Is this euros? Yeah. It is euros. All right. We also have Jack in the box. Mm-hmm. That's like a fast food place. 
So my name could be Jack. We have Billy B, honey. So I'm getting something really sweet, sticky. All right, I'm getting yum, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. All right, protect, attack, and snack. I'm getting you need to protect yourself. I'm getting from an attack spiritually. And um, I'm getting you getting a snack, okay? Yum. And then we have Pringles here, originals. Yeah, so I'm getting there's like an original and there's a copy out here or something. Somebody's a wannabe. All right. Well, there's that, there's what, and there's who. And now, um, yeah, that's all I got for you. All right, so Pawan, one, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. Let me know by leaving a frog in the comments, okay? Yes, we have a confirmation on my phone. How to keep them away. <laughs> all right, I don't know. That's what it said. How to keep them away. I can't help but wait. Somebody's waiting. I'm getting somebody's waiting upon one. All right. I feel like they're going to be waiting for a while. Somebody wants to resolve some sort of situation. It could have involved a lot of people outside interferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe a frog. So I know it's you, Pawan, that is commenting. Let me know um, that you connected with me here today. If you're new, subscribe, hit that bell button. If you're returning, I love you so much, baby. My OGs, you already know we family. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bless and um yeah until next time deuces hello my beautiful souls how are you doing welcome pal two to your reading if you chose this card then you are at your reading this is the snake okay it's nothing bad nothing bad is actually really really good so let's tap in so we can get your message out here today bless we're gonna use my protection mist available on my shop listed down below I'm getting like chiropractor. Maybe when some of you guys are looking into a chiropractor. Maybe you are a chiropractor. But a chiropractor could be significant. Let's get your angel number. All right. Holy Spirit, what's the angel number for PAL 2? Thank you. 522. Oh, May 22nd could be significant. Okay. But 522 is your angel number. So go to your search engine, put in 522, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from spirit that is giving us nine all right so nine is giving me hmm you could have been guided to pa one all right that's for some not everybody okay if you were go there if you weren't leave it alone <laughs> all right um but what i'm getting with the nine for you pa one like right now i'm getting you creating healthy boundaries i'm getting that right now um you're brainstorming a lot. There's a lot going on upstairs in your crown. I'm getting that your defenses could be up. You're like on alert a little bit. <laughs> it's giving, um, you could have been or you could be going through some like sleep. I don't know why I'm hearing sleep paralysis. Maybe sleep paralysis or some sort of issues with sleep. Maybe insomnia or lack of sleep. All right, so let's get into this. That's what I'm pulling, but I'm getting you becoming more self-sufficient, Pal One. And I'm getting this is going to benefit you really, really, like, benefit you. All right, that makes sense. It's going to benefit you because it's going to really, really benefit you. Yeah. All right, so there could be, like, something confusing going on, too. Maybe you're, like, trying to seek some sort of truth or seek something out. But I'm getting this is really going to benefit you, this um, change that's coming in for you, Pal Two, mm -hmm. with the snake. All right, so let's get it. The snake is giving, woof, a lot. It's giving Kundalini, not for nothing. Let's see what it says. I'm using the book. This is the deck. All right, so we could read what it means. So the snake talks about guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that the Shakti, which is for me the Kundalini, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true to you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? All right, so I'm getting something being in slumber. I'm getting you waking up. Two, two, two could be significant. You could be seeing that a lot. How can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. So some of you guys could be going to a Reiki master. You're definitely being guided to do Reiki work. Or you could be a Reiki master. All right, I'm getting yoga, Reiki, 
I did hear chiropractor earlier. All right. So it's, it's giving like your body, you unlocking things within your body spiritually because it's unawakened magic that's trying to come out or trying to awaken within you. It says, make haste. The snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. All right. So right now you could be starting and stopping many things. Um, It's time to stop that. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting precious creation. All right. I'm getting you're really charismatic. Like you're a magnet, pal too. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of creative potential that you have not tapped into. So if you feel like you have awakened and you have tapped into your gifts, honey, to your surprise, there's more to come, okay? And right now, it is essential for you to do yoga. It is essential for you to do your Reiki work or connect with a Reiki master so that you can unlock what wants to come out. I'm getting some of y'all went through a Kundalini activation and this is expanding now or you guys are going to be having a Kundalini activation moving forward. Now, this is cool. You know if you had a Kundalini activation because you will feel it at your base, which is the bottom of your back, like your spine, your tailbone around that area. You will feel something kind of like explode and then it just makes its way up. So all the other chakras in your spine and then it finalizes up here in your crown and then you just feel like everything kind of like exploding in a sense. All right, bless. <laughs> I'm getting an awakening here. All right, something about wake you up. All right, wake up, how to. All right, so <laughs> talk to me, spirit. What's the message here today for Pow to? What is it that they're meant to hear? You make me wanna. All right, so you make somebody wanna be like frisky, okay? You make me wanna leave the one I'm with, start a new relationship with you, see what you do. All right, so I'm getting you making, whether that's them leaving a relationship for you or making someone change. I'm getting somebody wanting to sacrifice something to be with you. All right, so side note, you make me wanna by Usher. All right, let's go. What else does Pautu need to hear here today? Yeah, my back is now going off. Like, oh goodness. <laughs> All right. What does Pautu need to hear? Thank you. We have the wall. So I'm getting like a big misunderstanding. I'm getting boundaries in place. Oh, man. Talk about creating a wall or building a wall. That's a long wall. <laughs> yeah, we have bread here. A period of abundance, basically. A period of prosperity and abundance. Yeah. I'm getting a misunderstanding, though. We have the bull here. Do not back down from oppositions. Show your strength and fortitude. All right. So I'm getting there's some sort of bully out here. Taurus could be significant with the bull coming out. I'm getting a misunderstanding between you and someone else. It could be involving money. Diamond. It could be involving marriage too for some of y'all. You'll be receiving or you'll be giving or receiving a precious gift. So I'm getting something being given or something being handed. And I'm getting money here. But don't back down. I'm getting a misunderstanding. Don't back down. Show your strength right now. We have the spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. So I'm getting somebody hurt out here. All right, so damn, somebody's heart's pierced. We have broken ring. Yeah, I'm getting a commitment, a marriage, something breaking apart, all right? A relationship, a commitment of some sort, breaking apart, parting of the ways in either romance or business. Being that we have money here, this could be involving like, you know, sometimes when you go through a divorce or a separation, you know, there could be fights and arguments about money or there could have been some sort of money matters that involved someone getting their heart broken or someone could have did something because of money there's like a big misunderstanding here big misunderstanding involving money commitment and um possibly a gift all right i'm getting a bully too so you need to show your strength and your fortitude you need to show somebody that you know you strong you're not you're not for the weak you ain't weak no you're not weak all right let's go let's go Caramelo. Somebody could have like caramel skin. This bull is caramel. Somebody could be Puerto Rican or Dominican. All right. So I'm getting a misunderstanding between you and someone else. And it could be because of a gift, money. I'm getting shit falling apart here. And I'm getting someone hurt over what they no longer have. And someone battling here with a bully. All right. So someone, someone could have hurt you and... 
They could have been a bully. Take it how it resonates. Or someone hurts you and feels like you're a bully, all right, because you created this China wall. Because literally... <laughs> <laughs> look at this wall that's the boundaries that is a long wall okay i'm getting somebody building walls like oh you hurt me we <laughs> wall up but it's not giving just a wall right here it's a wall it's a long wall not to laugh i just laugh when i'm nervous so i feel like somebody's nervous about this misunderstanding because i'm getting something falls apart all right, so I'm getting it awakens you, though, with the snake here and the kundalini. Like, it leads you to an awakening. All right, so let's tap in. Talk to me, spirit. What's coming, going, happening for Pau 2? What is their message here today? I'm getting a lot of money coming your way, though, but you need to stand up and fight. Make sure you stand up and fight. Mm-hmm. We have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so it's giving an investment. For some of y'all, this could be like a business situation. Doesn't have to be romance. Yeah, because it's either romance or business. So take it how it resonates. So this could be a battle about a business or a battle at work or a battle in regards to marriage or relationship. All right, Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting you waiting. There's like a wait here, the high priestess. All right, I'm getting... Somebody got the secret, so I'm, I'm, I'm Pisces. All right, Pisces is going to be significant. We have the lovers, Gemini. All right. This could be involving lovers. I'm getting a secret about an investment, financial investment. I'm getting the man offering here the apple to Eve, and Eve has the snake, all right? So I'm getting, like, manipulation and love. Look at that. And you have the snake here, all right? And then we have the sun. A lot of major arcanas. All right, I'm getting something being exposed, some sort of temptation. Like somebody's going to want to give you something and it's temptation. Be very careful. There's two people in the sun card. That's usually never depicted as a relationship. Hmm. We have the two of pentacles. I'm getting, oh my gosh, there's two heads on each pentacle. This is like, whoa, okay, that's crazy. All right, one goes up one goes down i'm getting the empress libra taurus gemini leo aries sagittarius i'm getting somebody knows something out here all right could be involving a mother baby mother a pregnancy clarify the seven of pentacles the king of pentacles uh-huh. Clarify the high priestess. The two of wands. I'm getting somebody waiting. Hmm. I'm getting somebody at the fork of the road keeping a secret. We have So Sick by Neo. My stomach is grumbling. <laughs> I have an ache. <laughs> All right, somebody could be waiting. They're hungry. I I'm not hungry, but my stomach's definitely grumbling. All right, so I'm getting secretly somebody's at the fork of the road deciding which way they're going to go. Clarify the lovers. The hermit. I'm getting a lover hiding. Clarify the sun. Somebody's hiding out here. The six of cups. I'm getting somebody coming back. Really happy. Clarify the two of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting somebody really busy making money out here. The Two of Swords. All right, so something's not being seen at this time. Let's go further. Clarify the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> Clarify the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. I'm getting a partnership. Mm-hmm. I'm getting somebody proposing to somebody. Like somebody, I'm getting a masculine here waiting to propose to someone else. Waiting to partner up with someone else. Clarify the high priestess with the two of wands. The four of cups. I'm getting somebody keeping something secret. I'm getting a rejection. The page of cups. Yeah, I'm getting somebody communicating with somebody. They're secretly hiding that they're rejecting somebody. So I'm getting a misunderstanding and I'm getting. Let's clarify the lovers and the hermit. 
the star, all these major arcanas. I'm getting this destined. The star does speak about destiny too. Um, the three of wands, I'm getting something's destined. I'm getting it's destined for you to turn your back on somebody, a partner. I'm getting for a wish fulfillment. I'm I'm seeing okay. Clarify the sun with the six of cups, and then I'll tell you exactly everything I'm seeing. I'm we have Neo so sick. So I'm so sick of love songs, so tired of tears. We have the ten of wands. Hmm. The two of swords. Clarify the two of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. The three of pentacles. Hmm. The king of cups. Very interesting. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. I'm getting, all right. I'm getting a masculine energy here. You could be a masculine or you could be connected with a masculine, of course. Um, I'm getting a masculine energy here waiting, investing in a partnership. There's something that a masculine is being patient with over here in regards to, uh, or you could be patient with this masculine, like, cause you invested in this. So you feel like, damn, I invested in this partnership. Let's see what happens. I'm going to invest in that. But secretly you're also like seeking a way out. Yeah. With the fourth cup. So like, I'm getting, you're being real secret about this. Like you invested in someone, some sort of partnership. This could be business or love related. Take it how it resonates. But I'm getting that you are secretly looking for a way out or you're secretly leaving, rejecting somebody. I'm getting, there's a secret here about rejection in the near future. I see somebody at the fork of the road deciding which way we're going to go. We have Easy by Daniel A. The lovers, the hermit, and the star. I'm getting someone's hiding someone somebody's hiding something else and i'm getting it's a wish film and someone's like you're gonna be hiding something else i'm getting another partner it's like you invested in a partnership over here you were patient but i see you rejecting this and going a different path i see you connecting with someone new here that you're gonna keep secret with the hermit the hermit has a plant in his hands which is different from traditional tarot all right so there's a new seed being planted so i'm getting a new partnership being planted which comes off here as the star which is a wish fulfillment okay us uh, this is like destined to be i'm getting a new partnership destined to be whether that's in business or love. I'm getting here with the sun, six of cups, and ten of wands. Somebody's going to come back. So I'm getting somebody reject somebody, but then they come back. And they bring something to light. I'm getting something coming to light. That somebody's overwhelmed and that they're going to want to come back. So even after a rejection, somebody comes back, okay? I'm getting that there's going to be multiple options. And I'm seeing that you're going to be very kind of like overwhelmed, busy. I'm getting you busy at work, though. I'm getting you very busy at work getting to the bag. I see you single out here, self-sufficient, all right? But I'm getting that there's going to be an investment. A new person is going to be an investment. I'm getting soulmates. I'm getting um, wish fulfillments. I'm getting be patient. I'm getting something is going to take time for it to grow, but it's meant to grow. I'm getting one. I'm getting one person leaving while another person's entering. That is the message. That was a lot. <laughs> Could be a water sign, an earth sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a lot of signs here, but I'm getting somebody coming back is going to make you feel really overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, it's heavy. Um, you need to you need to like stand up and not back down to this op. I'm getting whoever this is that's coming back. They're a bully. They hurt you. They broke your heart. And they're sad and they're going through pain because you're no longer around them, whether that's in business or love. But I'm getting that's what's destined to happen here with the lovers, the hermit, and the stars. Something's destined to shift. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lucrative investment here. So if this is a business investment, I'm getting <laughs> prosperity and abundance. All right. If this is a relationship, I'm getting this is going to birth a lot because we have a partnership in the sun. All right. So I'm getting something being illuminated. OK, so you may be illuminating or showing off a new person moving forward because I see it being hidden here and then I see it being exposed here. And then guess who comes in? Someone from the past. All right. So I'm getting something being hidden and then being exposed and someone comes back and then there's like this juggling. We have slow down Bobby v Bobby V. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. 
but don't turn around. All right, I'm getting somebody got cake. <laughs> cake, 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 cake. All right, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting you busy though. I'm getting you busy. I'm getting you busy building something here. Your self sufficient is giving monies. Okay. Ravens could be significant. I'm getting a messenger. So you could be a messenger or you could be, or like you talk a lot at work or something. I'm getting a messenger at work or you could be a messenger for someone else. Um, seven of swords. Be careful because I'm getting somebody giving you something. Could be a flower, could be some love, could be, you know, I'm getting this is a fox. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Yeah, they wear a mask. Sometimes they have a nice face. Sometimes they have a mean face. Be careful. I'm getting three kids. Something about three, maybe three weeks, three months, three kids. The number three could be significant. March. Just be very careful with someone coming back towards you because I'm getting a burden. Yeah, it's heavy. Like you're going to feel overwhelmed. Like everything's on your back with someone coming back to you. Somebody could like to plant, have a green thumb. Doves, white birds could be significant as well. I'm getting you're very intuitive and you're being guided to reject somebody and move in a new direction. And I see you doing that and I see it going very well for you. Mm -hmm. Whether that's in work or in love. So take it how it resonates. Let's see what your advice is. Very interesting. And I'm so sick of love songs, so tired of tears. All right. Hmm. That was pretty, like, straightforward, kind of. I see you receiving some sort of gift. There's a diamond here, and there's a lot of money. All right, so this could be an expensive opportunity that you receive. Not expensive, but a lucrative opportunity you receive. Or this could literally be a diamond ring or something like that, all right? Somebody's going to come in talking about, it was a misunderstanding. I'm so sorry. I'm getting, no, it's a burden. What's the advice for Paul 2? We have, oh, it was upside down. We have 17, the coven, which is giving four people, three feminines and one masculine. And then we have number one, knowing. Take the first step. I'm getting a new beginning here. I'm getting a new beginning with soul family, all right? There could be one guy and three women included, and there's new beginning. July 17th could be significant, all right? So let's tap in. Let's see what this is all about. We'll go to the charms afterwards. All right. Number one, knowing. Take the first step. Trust your soul and intuition. Don't wait until you're ready. This is the high priestess. We have the high priestess coming out again and the fool. All right. So this is a new beginning. You need to trust your intuition when it comes to this new beginning. You're very intuitive. I'm getting, especially with the high priestess coming out twice and the snake being here talking about Kundalini activations. I'm getting, if you didn't know you had a divine gift, you're about to find out. Okay. If you already know your gift, I'm getting your gift expanding. Mm-hmm. In a new beginning. All right. So, and I'm getting a lot of soul family members around you, like people you're meant to connect with. These are not like, your, this is not your biological family. These are people you just meet and they become family. Okay. We have here every living thing on this planet and every celestial body within the universe has the innate knowledge of what to do. You see this intelligence within a flower telling it when to bloom. It's within animals who migrate, telling them when to seek warmer weather. It's within the plan, the planets that circle the sun in perfect synchronization. And it's within you too. Your body knows when to walk and how to develop. Your mind knows how to learn things such as speech. And your heart in instinctively knows how to bond with other beings with other beings the intelligence guiding the earth and its inhabitants is the same wisdom that guides your intuition and tells you how to overcome obstacles and which path leads to greater fulfillment when knowing comes i'm getting a lot of alerts sorry when knowing comes to you in a reading 
It is your validation that you already know what to do in your situation. This is a sign to stop doubting your brilliance. You can't see it, but your higher self is downloading infinite amounts of information every single moment of the day and is sharing it with you in the form of your dreams, desires, and the things that excite you. Every daydream or fantasy is a glimpse of what could be your future. There are there are not heights. I guess they meant there are no flights. There are not flights of fancy or delusions of grandeur. This is your highest self backed by your ancestors, spirit guides, and the cosmos, giving you the breadcrumbs that will lead you to your destiny and success. And we do have that here. Follow one nugget and another will appear. Then follow that nugget and another one will become available to you, all guiding you step by step towards the best resolution for all involved. Trust there is a part of you that knows what to do in this situation and then trust yourself to carry out this guidance in the way that the universe intends. All right, so the high priestess, take the lead in your situation and trust that you are the right person to bring all parties together in a positive solution. The invitation, you are on the path to success and should continue doing what you're doing. Trust that results are happening. All right, so these are other cards that will be connected to it, but aren't. Okay, we have the coven, which is 17. So let's see. So obviously it's saying trust your intuition. You're being guided in the right direction. Just how caterpillars are guided to trees to go upside down, get in a cocoon and become a butterfly. How do they know they need to do that? Because they're guided to do that. Every species, everything that's inhabiting, inhabiting this beautiful planet is guided to do what it needs to do, which is its destiny, its mission. So you're being guided to do something and you need to listen. Okay, we have <laughs> the coven here, soul family, acceptance, putting yourself out there, the family you choose, which is three of pentacles. Yeah, and you had the three of pentacles. So you could be working with people or you could be creating or you created a family at work. I'm getting you building a family at work. Mm -hmm. This could be new with the number one here. All right, so a coven is the family you choose which supports you in ways that extend beyond any one ritual or spell. It's a connection that is richer than friends. It's an element of people who share a soul mission expressed in infinite ways. The thread connecting this soul family is so divine and aligned that only the universe could have possibly brought these people into your life. So I'm getting you meeting new people, you connecting with new people, and it could be at work and you're meant to connect with these souls. They're supposed to be your extended family. All right. This kind of con this kind of kindred fellowship is only available to those who have done the beautiful complex work of finding and embracing true self. You are living so authentically that you radiate truth through every cell of your being, and that authentically sends out a signal to the right group of people, a call that only those in soul agreement with yours can hear. Wow, so I'm getting you calling a lot of people. All right, without even knowing you're doing it, possibly. There is a coven available to you, and they will begin making their way to you once you have accepted who you are. All right, you will know them instantly when you allow yourself to be seen and you are not judged for it. Of course, that means sometimes you will have to share parts of yourself that others will reject. While it may be painful at first, rejoice in knowing those people are not for you and you are not for them. So if someone doesn't like what you do, tough love. They're not for you. All right. You can <laughs> you can move forward with the knowledge that they will have no place in the family you are gathering for yourself. Receiving this card is a sign that new people are entering your life for relationships. This can mean a new love interest who has the potential to be a soulmate partner or that you may welcome a bundle of joy soon. Ooh, a baby. Mm -hmm. There's a new beginning here. Okay. For finances and career, you may meet a mentor or someone who can help you advance sooner. 
all right so that's deep okay so that's your advice that's your guidance <laughs> all right so you are definitely calling in your soul tribe and it's interesting because you got the snake and the snake talks about an awakening right and it talks about not being scared of your divine gifts, your divine abilities, your clairs. And you know what's crazy? I pulled the raccoon for you, Paltu, but I was like, nah, we used that yesterday. So the raccoon, and then that's why I pulled the snake out after that, which is kind of um, connecting. The raccoon is someone that has a lot of talents, but is shy or is hiding its talents. So you have a talent, you have a gift that you may be hiding because you're afraid of judgment or you're afraid of, or not even afraid, or, but maybe you're nervous. Maybe you fear what people are going to think of you. Maybe you fear what people are going to feel about you. Nah, you need to showcase that talent because the raccoon becomes a celebrity. All right. So I'm getting, you have a lot of potential, whether that is fame or celebrity status or just success. All right. You have potential, but you need to put yourself out there. The raccoon, when it comes out, it talks about needing to showcase yourself and be unapologetic about it so i'm getting you awakening and you coming out and attracting your soul family which is beautiful deep is deep and i feel like what activates this is a heartbreak all right could be a divorce could be a heartbreak within a business endeavors or something um somebody being a bully towards you bullying you in one way or another this could be involving money or gifts or something like that all right let's get your we have bedrock young money could be involving sex too all right what's the charms for pal two that was mentos um the mint mentos the mint the mint kind or whatever okay Let's get some initials out here. Initials for Pau Two. All right. First, middle, last initial. This could be yours. This could be somebody else's. All right. We have QSO, GO, which is giving me go. All right. MZ, A, K, R, U, N. <laughs> it says go run. Yeah, G-O-R-U-N, go, run. You're being guided to run from a situation or get away from a situation, but don't back down because you did have the bull, so you cannot back down. All right, we have DNR, LA, Los Angeles could be significant. Ralph Lauren, somebody could wear a lot of Ralph Lauren. Somebody's name could be Ralph. All right, we have P-E. I'm getting a plea, P-L-E-A. Yeah, somebody's going to want to plea with you. Yeah, run. Run. We have X H R O H. I'm gonna like horse, not for nothing. All right, somebody could be built like a horse. We have P R Puerto Rico. We have H O E. Somebody could be a hoe. Damn. <laughs> Listen, it's the charms. It's not me. <laughs> I'm seeing what I'm seeing. We have high school H S. Somebody could be a high school teacher or, or high school. Somebody could have a, a child in high school or I don't know. So this could be significant. We have ID. I'm getting identity. We have QKA. All right. QKA. We have the number one here. We don't have baby tarot, but we do have tarot dice. We have the five of cups with the high priestess. I'm getting somebody hiding their disappointment, hiding their guilt, their sadness, but it's going to be exposed with the sun here. Yeah, it's in regards to an ending. So I'm getting an ending here. Someone's hiding how I made them feel, but I'm getting the sun. And in this thing, there's two people dancing in the sun too. You had two people in your cars. There's two people here. Usually there isn't two people. We have my place, Nelly. All right, so I'm getting something about a place, maybe an apartment, a house is significant. We have the five of wands and the 10 of pentacles. I'm getting somebody fighting for some money or fighting for a commitment. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to want to fight for some money or a commitment. I'm getting um, money coming your way. Six of Pentacles. Unexpected money coming your way. Somebody could work in law enforcement with the King of Swords being here. Confirmation. I'm getting disappointment. I'm getting money, though, coming in. I'm getting someone feeling like they lost a battle with you. The Hierophant. Could involve marriage or commitment. The Tower. Something falls apart. Yeah. Children could be a factor with all these cereals, okay? Yeah. Somebody could love, like, shoes. Somebody could have, like, a strong shoe game. 
we have the book here. So definitely journal is giving journal your experiences, journal everything. We have here um, casino slots, lucky slots. All right, so somebody could love to go to the casinos, okay? That could be significant. We have snack pack. This is banana cream pie pudding. Somebody could really like that. Banana cream pie. We have here strawberry lemonade, country time. Somebody could really like this too. We did get Mentos, the fresh kind, the blue one, but it fell on the floor and I'm not going to go reach. <laughs> we have the white Reese's Pieces Buttercup. Mm -hmm. And then we have Tinkerbell, which is from Peter Pan. All right, so I'm getting somebody didn't want to grow up or something like that. All right, I'm getting somebody's magical here. Maybe somebody's into fairies. All right, Tinkerbell was a fairy who helped Peter Pan create his magical world. All right, so you could have helped somebody or somebody could have been helping you or however it goes, but I'm getting somebody didn't want to grow up. All right, so I'm getting your leveling up. Bless. All right. Pal three, I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form here today. Let me know. Drop a snake in the comments, okay? That's how I'm going to know. Drop a snake in the comments. Let me know we connected here today. Affirm this new beginning, this money, and all this great stuff coming in for you. Bless, okay? And, um... If you need to re-listen to this, re-listen to this. That's what I just heard. If you're new, subscribe, hit that bell button. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. If you're returning, I love you so much, my OGs. I really do. And I'll catch y'all in the comments. I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. Mwah! Deuces. Bless. Hello there. How are you guys doing, Pal3? Welcome to your reading, Blayas. All right, so if you chose... The star, you are at your reading. This is a starfish. Mm -hmm. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're going to hop into this in a second. Let's connect. Bless. I'm going to use my protection mist to protect us during this space and time. This is available on my shop along with other beautiful goodies. I use this to protect us from any outside interferences or negative energies because we can't tolerate that uh -uh. holy spirit what's the angel number for pile three thank you somebody's name could be dylan all right we have here 202 202 which is giving four. Oh, that that's, that's refreshing all right so 202 is your angel number pile three Go to your search engine, put 202, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. Bless. All right, so let's tap into the starfish. I am reading from the book. All right, because this is your energy. You're coming out here as a starfish. Hello, which is vibes. All right, so the starfish is beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. So take it how it resonates. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. The starfish is a natural, exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures have been radiant, reliant, sorry. <laughs> the problem is these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper calling. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? All right, I'm getting, there could be some gossip, maybe empty space that needs to be filled. You could be feeling like there's something missing or like there's a void you need to fill. I'm getting, you're really uplifting. You're artistic, so you're an artist. I'm getting, you're expressive, so you may express your art through fashion, through speech, through the way you operate. I'm getting, you're really attractive. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're alluring. I'm getting, people feel like you put them under a spell. That's how good you look, <laughs> okay? People be around you, um, and they just be like, oh my gosh, pal, three, okay? <laughs> um, but I'm getting that... Also, also, with the reliant on how they look, um, 
that's a little superficial you know what i'm saying a little shallow so i'm getting like you stepping out of some sort of energy maybe you relied a lot on your looks your appearance your charm to get what you need what you want i'm getting you stepping away from that and going inward is the big message here there's a lot that needs to be pursued there's a lot that can be accomplished but you must go inward is the message pal three you must look within not without all right. And this could even be when it comes to like people look within, not without. All right. So this could be you or someone else, but I'm getting this is you. All right. I'm getting you're really good looking. All right. But you got to go within now. Mm hmm. Put people aside. Maybe you're used to like wanting to please people or wanting to appeal to people. But I'm getting nah. You're gonna be good. You're always gonna look good. But it's time for you to um go deeper, deeper. I'm getting you're really good looking though. <laughs> first message you are a charm you are good looking okay and with the number four coming out i'm getting you working on your stability on your relationships and you being um less worried about looks and more worried about what's within like all right you good looking you're charming but what can you bring to the table aside from your appearances because that shit fades no offense you know and i'm gonna be blunt because that's how i roll this is my channel all right um but looks ain't everything. Looks is the surface, right? And when you're in a relationship or when you're seeking something or when you're looking for something deep, you got to look within, not without. So the looks attract you, but what reels you in is the personality. It's the energy. And I'm getting you have a gift, Pal 3. You have a gift that you're able to reel people in. People are automatically attracted to you. You're eye candy, okay? And... um. But I'm getting you feeling empty, like, all right, some, like, I need something, like, I, I'm, like, you're searching for something, you need something, you're thriving to find something, fulfill something within yourself, and it happens when you go within yourself, all right, because I'm getting what you're seeking is inside you. I know, it's deep, okay? Yeah, it's really deep. Very interesting, I didn't even notice that deck till now, hmm. All right, but anyway, let's get it, let's go. Let's see what your messages are, pal three, my sexy divine beings, okay? My little starfish is out here. Mm. We have Tempo by Chris Brown. We have Kangaroo. I'm getting, you need a plan for a head. I'm getting something's not settled. You have to plan for a head. This could be involving a child um, or some sort of situation that involves someone else because i'm seeing you protecting someone this could be you protecting your inner child if not a child i'm getting something's unsettled you need a plan for a head all right we have good fortune with the beetle uh-huh all right so money's coming in though Hello. all right you have good fortune moving forward yeah so plan ahead so that you know everything goes well with your good fortune prosperity we have success yeah, I'm getting a lot of success here. So you could have already like transformed. Maybe you already stripped this version of you where before you would rely on your looks or you would rely on your charm to get you what you wanted and you have stripped away from that and now you have gone within or you're going within, depending where you are in the timeline here because everybody's going to be in a different place. Some of you are getting ready to go within. Others of you have already gone within and you're pushing that aside and you're going deeper and th that's where you're finding success okay honey all right i'm getting childhood all right so childhood healing childhood trauma so you may have been focusing or you may have been um doing some childhood trauma healing all right healing parts of you from your childhood that may have you know made you feel like all right well if i appear to people a certain way or if i look a certain way you know i'm gonna get a certain result okay we have a wedge here someone's gonna try to come between you and what you want that's why you gotta plan ahead i'm getting somebody trying to come in between you and a friend or something you want and you need to plan ahead all right so you could be happy because i'm getting you happy regardless but you need to be strategic you need to plan ahead all right so i'm getting you happy i'm getting well-being we have a hand here so i'm getting you getting help assistance or guidance all right so you're getting a hand the universe is helping you out to gain some sort of success i'm getting somebody helping you too bless all right so let's get it let's go but someone's gonna want to come between you and your happiness you need to protect yourself okay this could be somebody that's like kind of like obsessed because i'm getting you put people under a spell by accident okay <laughs> like you don't do it on purpose you just do 
Because I'm trying to slow it down, beat it up, go down and eat it up. Damn. <laughs> Take it down, down, down. Somebody wants you, honey. All right. So somebody wants you sexually because you're a good looking person. But I'm getting that um, this they're just trying to come between you and your happiness. So be careful with that. All right. Somebody feels like you put a spell on them. Mm -hmm, the star. Some of you guys could be healers, popular, um, have clout, fame, or just be like a wish fulfillment. You're the star. You look like a wish fulfillment. Um, yeah, I'm getting police and fire activity. All right, so police officers, firemen, somebody could be a police officer or a fireman, or there could be some sort of police fire activity. Okay, that could be relevant. We have the three of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. All right, so it's giving a wish fulfillment, and he has like a treasure box here. There's a frog. I'm getting a leap. Feeling froggy, then leap. You may have been guided to Pal One. If you were, go check it out. If not, don't watch it, okay? Because do what you know you're guided to do. But I'm getting treasures here, like a wish fulfillment would work. Mm -hmm. We have I'm Real by Jennifer Lopez. We have Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, a lucrative opportunity. All right, it's coming from the universe. Wow, a crown. I'm getting you being crowned in a new opportunity i'm getting you leaping this is a wish fulfillment i'm getting a contract here yeah you're opening up some sort of treasure box there's a lot to receive the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn no matter sex female or male like honey it's giving okay let's see we have the two of pentacles there's a lot of pentacles here honey i see you busy i see you happy booked and busy all right clarify the three of pentacles i'm hearing overtime Clarify the Three of Pentacles for some of y'all. We have the High Priestess. Some of y'all could be readers, healers, all right, intuitive, divine beings having a human experience. I'm getting, um, you need to keep your work secret or you may do something that is in secret or you're secretly working on something. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. We have the blank card. All right. So this is your wish is the blank card. So this is whatever it is you wish for. It's coming in. All right. So it's going to be different for all of you. Mm -hmm. Point blank period. <laughs> you know, that's my saying point blank period. I wish you're filming. Clarify the ace of pentacles. Ooh, honey, I'm getting a crown out here, though. The world, yes, it's something new, a new cycle, all right? I'm getting a new cycle, a new opportunity. It's really lucrative, all right? Clarify the king of pentacles. We have the seven of cups. Somebody, okay, this is the most interesting seven of cups, the three of cups. I'm getting you celebrating. You don't even see this. Your third eye could be opening. I'm getting a celebration out here. But there's a lot coming in. Yeah, somebody's going to feel like you put them under a spell. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a lot of people here wanting to know what you got going on in that third eye. Like, what you have going on. I'm getting somebody, like, really curious. All right, clarify the two of pentacles. I'm getting you booked and busy out here. Page of swords. This could be writing, speaking, um, doing something regarding the, the voice. All right, with the butterfly is a change. I'm getting you busy. There's a lot of changes coming in. I'm, I'm getting somebody watching you be busy, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of water with this two of pentacles. So I'm getting emotionally, there's a lot that's going to be going on. All right, clarify the three of pentacles with the high priestess. The wheel of fortune, honey. Honey, oh my gosh, this is good stuff. I'm getting this is destined. You're with a sword. Like something about you speaking. You're secretly speaking something. It has to do with work. There's change with work. Work is destined to change. I'm getting you need to keep this a secret. Clarify the nine of cups with the blank card. The seven of wands. Yeah, you need to protect this new beginning. You need to protect this blessing, this change. Protect it. I'm getting you in secret. Clarify the the ace of pentacles with the world. I'm getting a new beginning. The four of swords. 
This could involve a passing for some of y'all. Two of cups of a partner. I'm getting you resting. I'm getting you healing, resting. This new beginning is going to be like healing for you. Yeah, I'm getting you wrapping something up. Some of you guys may have lost someone. My condolences. I'm so sorry. Um, For others of you, loco contigo. It's crazy with you. I'm getting you healing from someone that may have been a little bit, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right, clarify the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting something new. A lot of new opportunities. A lot of new opportunities coming your way. Because your third eye is opening. Yeah, four pentacles. I see you secured, honey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Roosters could be significant. Coo -coo 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 -coo. This guy is holding, he's stepping on one coin, holding two coins, and he has a coin on his head, on his helmet. And he's naked. So I'm getting um you feeling naked in this new beginning or in this new opportunity. So you're being yourself, you're naked, you're being honest, you're being transparent. Not that you weren't before, but I'm getting, you're being real transparent with this new beginning. There's going to be a lot of opportunities here. All right, clarify the two of pentacles with the page of swords. The king of cups. The two of cups. Some of you guys could be in same sex relationship. That's for some, not all. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm getting a relationship here, though. I'm getting somebody watching you, like, really, really busy. Who is this King of Cups? I'm hearing Father. The Queen of Cups. Two of Wands. I'm getting you being guided. Somebody in a relationship is watching you be busy. So this is somebody you can know that's in a relationship. Why are they watching? Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? The knight of wands, because they want to have sex. They want to be with you. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to come towards you. I'm seeing somebody watching you be booked and busy and thriving. They're crazy about you. They could be in a relationship, but they want to juggle. They want you to be their side person or they don't mind being your side person. Yeah, again, the wedge. Somebody's going to come between you and someone, something you want or someone you want or a friend. All right, so this could be somebody coming between you and a friend. It could be their girl, their man coming between y'all like, oh, I can't hang out no more. Like I'm in this relationship. Shorty, homie, don't want me to come out. That could be one scenario and or it could be... Someone coming between you and someone you want. I'm getting somebody in a relationship, though, wanting to have sex, wanting to be in a... Clarify the page of swords and the knight of wands, but this is like fast energy, hot and cold. The two of wands. Yeah, somebody's coming your way. I'm getting drama. I'm getting two people fighting for one person. All right, so there could be two people fighting for one person. The five of wands usually has five people, but there's only two people here. I'm getting two people fighting. I'm getting one person feeling stuck, another person like hitting the other person. Like, it's so interesting. Talk to me about the king and the queen of cups. The king of swords, another person? Whoa, who are all these people? All right. Damn. All right, so if you're feminine, there's going to be three guys fighting over you. If you're masculine, you're dealing with a female that has two other guys. And I'm getting a fight. And I'm getting it being revealed. Like, the Lord is revealing this situation whoa okay can you clarify the king of cups swords and the queen of cups the four of wands somebody's married or somebody's in a commitment the queen of wands there's a lot of parties here 
a lot. Of, can you clarify this King of Pentacles? The Queen of Wands is with the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. I'm getting somebody sad about you and someone else being together. Yeah, Seven of Cups. I'm getting you giving an offer to one person, but there's a lot of people here. I'm getting one person is watching you, wanting to have sex with you or wanting to be intimate with you. They're about to come your way. I'm getting why? Because they're disappointed. They feel like you have a new person or there's a new person in the picture. Clarify the Queen of Wands with the King of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting something's meant to be. New love. Damn, that's a fountain right there. A lot of love. I'm getting a lot of love coming your way. Page of Cups. I'm getting a sun could be a factor. Somebody could have a sun. I'm getting new love. The Page of Cups is new love. I'm going to shuffle and hit this one more time because that's what I was told to do. I didn't do that for the other piles, so shh, don't tell them, okay? Okay. That's between me and you, all right? All right, good. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have Sigues Con Él. Yeah! Arcángel. Listen, if you are into Latin music, whoa, go check this out. All right, Sigues Con Él. This is about someone telling someone else, like, oh, you still with that person? Like, you know? I'm getting somebody wanting to come in between someone new, someone's new relationship. I'm getting a new relationship on the horizon and someone wanting to come between that. And you, or take it how it resonates, all right? This could be you trying to come between somebody's new relationship. I highly doubt that, all right? Somebody could be younger than someone else. All right, take it how it resonates. But let me see. We're going to go another round. For whatever reason, I'm being guided to, so we're going to do that. All right. What else? <laughs> what else does Pal 3 need to hear? Thank you. It's been a long time, long, long time since I've seen you. All right, I don't know. Something about it's been a long time since I've seen you. Nine of Cups. Again, your wish fulfillment is coming out here with the lovers. All right, so I'm getting a wish fulfillment in love. A decision will be... Like, you're going to have to make a decision. A decision will be made. But I'm getting somebody else trying to tempt you. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Yes, I'm getting a wish fulfillment in love. It's new. It's going to be raining love. And then we have the seven of swords. Swipe or no swiping. Be careful. With the king of pentacles. Yeah, but what's up? Why is the seven of swords here? Somebody lying, stealing, cheating. I'm getting three people. And then we have the four of swords and those three people are being put to rest. Is somebody, are you dealing with three people or someone else is dealing with three people? I'm getting it all being put to rest. Okay. I, I don't know. Take the high resonates. Ace of pentacles. Yeah. Ace of pentacles, ace of cups for a commitment. That's what it's giving me. I'm getting, um, swipe or no swiping the world. Yeah. Something's being wrapped up i'm getting somebody's being wrapped up something's being wrapped up but somebody is still going to try to come between this wish fulfillment all right clarify the nine of cups we have judgment and the eight of cups i'm getting a wake-up call at work or somebody's waking you up while you're at work or something like that i'm getting a rebirth at work a renewal at work clarify the lovers the five of pentacles you're leaving a lover out in the cold Ace of Wands for a new beginning. I'm getting Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Honey, all the doors are opening up here. Two of Pentacles. One thing goes for another things to come in. I'm getting you really booked and busy. All right, clarify the Ace of Cups. I'm getting you trying to find balance. The Ace of Swords. All the Aces are here. Honey. Ten of Cups. It's giving family. It's giving happiness everybody's dancing here all right there could be two kids very different in age clarify the ace of cups and the ace of swords the six of pentacles wow i'm getting the full yeah a new beginning this is a new abundant beginning I'm getting people, someone looking for you or someone wanting to come around you because you're lucrative. I'm getting you getting good fortune. Two people suffering, needing money, needing support, possibly. I'm getting this is balanced. I'm getting this is equal give and take. Yeah. 
Um, clarify the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, marriage, a union. The Fool, this is new. Five of Cups. I'm getting somebody sad over new energy in your life. Mm -hmm. New love, new relationship, new everything. We got Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So there's going to be passion. There's going to be love. There's going to be romance. There's going to be clarity, a lot of communication. Ah, this is good stuff, honey. Okay, don't let this person sabotage this new beginning for you just because they sad they lost you. Okay, honey, bye. All right, whoever it is, they got like three people. Okay, I don't know. All right, so what's the advice and guidance for Pal 3? We have hello by Pop Smoke. Like, hello. Hello there, number 17, the coven. And we have number 15, the sacred vows. Honey. Vows are out here. <laughs> what it says? Serenity. I vow to seek state of calm and peacefulness. I know that no matter my circumstances, I am so. I am supported by the universe and all is well. Nobility, I vow to remain honest and operate from a place of integrity, even when no one is looking. I will remain true to my values and choose the path of rightfulness. Deliverance, I vow to release the experiences and people who enslave my soul to low vibrations, chaos, and self-destruction. I give myself permission to heal and move on. Sensitivity, sensuality, I, this, this small, <laughs> listen. <laughs> sensuality, I vow to connect to Mother Nature and the cosmos beyond through the fulfillment of my senses, I will lucturate and scent. All right, I cannot see that. I'm not going to force my vision. Let's go to the book. Where's the book? That's cool. We have commitment, soul family. All right, I'm getting a commitment here. Honey, I'm telling you, something is abundant. All right, so we have here the sacred vows which is commitment, devotion, belief system, and prayer. This is justice. Libra, somebody could have Libra in their chart, um, or you could be connected to a Libra. We have mystics and witches are governed by higher laws. Spirit works through them, channeling love, healing, abundance, self, sovereignty, and passion for humanity. It is these beliefs guiding the witch through life, and she is committed to honoring the task placed upon her shoulders. So it's like a soldier. You know how you put the sword on their, so on their shoulder? It's like you're vowing or you're committing to a cause cause. All right. So I'm getting that. This card represents the driving belief behind your choices. What is your moral compass? What keeps you aligned to your soul's nature and gives you a bump when you're debating from your path? What are, your pas what are you passionate about? What are you committed to? What moves you, moves through you and inspires you? The sacred vows guides you to devote more of what excites you, embrace both the simple and complex joys of life, and allow the things that bring you rapture to be held in your life as sacred. Should this card happen to fall out of the deck and land in the reverse, or if you feel you are lacking in the ethos and guide your path, it is an invitation to spend more time in prayer, connecting to higher power that best supports your path. All right, so is it connected to any of those? No. And then we have number 17 here, which is the coven. So this talks about soul, family, acceptance, putting yourself out there, and the family you choose, the three of pentacles. So I'm getting like a vow to a career. Mm hmm. You may have took a vow when it comes to work. All right, but I'm getting... You working something out here, and I'm getting it going very well for you. Justice. You could work in the law enforcement, legal business, or you could be a truth teller, or um, you bring balance back into people's lives. Okay, take out resonates. A govern is 
a coven is um the family who you choose which supports you in ways that extend beyond any one ritual or spell it's a connection that is richer than friends it's an alignment of people who share a soul mission expressed in infinite ways the thread connecting this soul family is divine and aligned that only the universe could have possibly brought these people into your life this kind of candid fellowship is only available to those who have done the beautiful complex work of finding Finding and embracing true self. You are living so authentically that you radiate truth through every cell of your being. And that authenticity sends out a signal to the right group of people, a call that only those in soul agreement with you can hear. I'm getting somebody tuning in a TV. All right. There is a coven available to you and they will begin making their way to you once you have accepted who you are. All right. So once you go deep, Okay, you will know them instantly when you allow yourself to be seen and you are not judged for it. Okay, so remember, we're going back to the starfish where appearances, looks, and charms were a big deal, but they're not anymore. And you know, you're not caring about being judged because you may have cared about judgment before. Of course, that means sometimes you will share parts of yourself that others will reject. While it may be painful at first, rejoice, others will rejoice in knowing that others are not. Rejoice, where am I? Rejoice that those people are not for you and you are not for them. You can move forward with the knowledge that they will have no place in your family. You are gathering for yourself. Receiving this card is a sign that new people are entering your life or relationships. This can mean a new love interest, like I mentioned earlier, who has the potential to be a soulmate partner or that you may welcome a bundle of joy soon, a baby. <laughs> For finances or career, you may meet a mentor or someone who can help you advance sooner. Bless. Okay love it for you <laughs> i love it for you okay yes i do let's go to the charms all right so that's good i'm seeing you getting a helping hand assistance guidance from the universe to go within go deep Volvi, yes, yeah, something somebody's coming back whoever this person is they got people they they date a lot of people or they they mess with a lot of people i don't know what that's about take out resonates but i'm getting a lot of people all right we have the eight of wands how do you want that to fall? We have the six of wands in reverse and the two of pentacles. So I'm getting somebody communicating with you and then running because you're busy. All right. I'm getting you booked and busy, not because you're busy, but because you're rejecting them. Yeah. Because of, because of a new lover, two of cups. So I'm getting somebody communicating with you and then them running because you have traded them for a new opportunity. You're rejecting them for someone new. Yep. All right, we have 201, wait, 206, 206, February 6th could be significant, February 6th. All right, let's get some initials out here. We have Diary by Alicia Keys. No one has to know what you are feeling. So write down, you should keep a diary, all right? Express yourself. That's a form of alchemy when you write down what you want, what you're feeling. You know, it's a good way of releasing, cutting cords too. All right, so we have A, Z, K, P, O. Somebody could be a parole officer. We have Q, A. I'm getting a lot of questions, a lot of answers. All right, we have X, K. We have P, X. We have I, Q. Someone's testing somebody's intelligence. We have KO. I'm getting somebody getting knocked out by somebody's IQ. Like somebody's too smart. We have PIX, a pitcher. All right. We have um, K. CK, Calvin Klein. Somebody could wear that. Um, we have ZUS. ZXZ. KJ. Somebody jokes around a lot. Just kidding. PWZG. Hmm. Okay. We have um, some bands here, all right, a lot of fives. There's a lot of fives, all right? It's a rack of fives, all right? So you may be seeing 555 five, five a lot or the number five a lot. Um, World War. This is by Max Brooks. You may have read this book. I've never seen this one. I'm getting a war, 
All right. So there could be like war involved, the army, military. I don't know. There's like a war, a world war. The world's at war. Z. What's that guy's name? Zaro. All right. I'm getting a hero, Zaro. All right. Hmm. That's interesting. We have the iPad. So somebody could, you know, use their iPad a lot or, you know, iPads are significant. I'm getting somebody doing something with apps or on an iPad, iPhone. We have a piggy here. So I'm getting somebody's, um, you know, greedy. Somebody's greedy. Somebody could have a Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchies look like piggies. I have a Frenchie, so I ain't coming for nobody. Okay. My Frenchie look like a whole little piggy. Okay. We have um, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. What is soda on the side? Somebody could be from Harlem. Maybe somebody loves Campbell's soup. We have ice cream here too. Ice cream could be significant. Somebody going out for ice cream. We have also the Sunday here from the Hard Rock Cafe. Okay. Who's this? Um, a superhero, and I don't know who it is. Who is it? He's covering his chest. So I'm, I'm getting somebody covering the fact that they're a superhero or something. Like, they're keeping it secret. We also have Spider-Man hands here. Spider-Man web shooter. All right, so I'm getting somebody that has magical hands, all right, or somebody's a shooter. <laughs> pop, pop. Pew, pew, we have a mermaid here. All right, so someone could be part of the marine kingdom. Somebody could be a mermaid. Somebody got purple hair. Somebody could drive an SUV. We have this Jeep here. Well, we have an SUV here. Radio control car. Sparkle girls. Zuru. All right, so I'm getting somebody got a pink car or SUV. Don't have to be pink, but it's here. We have grumpy. <laughs> Care bears. This is... um. Care Bear, resting grumpy face. I'm getting somebody has a resting bitch face. <laughs> I'm getting somebody mad. All right, somebody's mad. <laughs> and then we have fitted. Somebody could wear fitted. I'm getting money in the fitted. I'm getting money in your head, money in your hat. All right, so there's something about you hiding some money. It's in your head, it's in your hat, because we have a bag of money here. We have a lot of money here, too. Okay. Well, there's that, baby. I hope I helped you. Yeah, Z for Zaro or something like that. Zion, Zaro, Zion. I don't know. But we got the letter Z coming out. It's significant. We have wait for you. Yeah. All right. Pal 3, I love you. And I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. Let me know by subscribing, hitting that bell button, commenting on this video. You could put a starfish as a comment to let me know that this was your reading, okay? Thank you. I love you guys so, so much. For my OGs, it was such a pleasure having you. Congratulations on this good fortune and success. You're about to get assistance, guidance, and support. Go through it, honey, okay? I'm hearing happy purging, <laughs> all right? So happy purging. All right, for my new babies, welcome home. So happy to have you. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button on the way out. If you guys want any goodies or want to connect with me on a personal level, go to my description and there's a lot of details there waiting for you to find it, okay? I'm sending y'all love, lights, and everything nice. Mwah! Deuces! Bless!